Testing, testing. Hello. How's everybody doing? Uh, I'm gonna work on these levels, so as soon as folks are in chat, if you wouldn't mind letting me know how I sound, how the levels are. I think that looks good. But obviously, let me know if it's not sounding good. Happy Saturday! I hope folks are well. This is this is a uh, this is a Saturday. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I am definitely awake. Now the good news. Good news is you should actually be hearing the Battle for West Not soundtrack in the background, which is exciting because the last several streams I haven't been able to get audio to work on my on my stream, uh, and that is not ideal, as it turns out. So we uh, we did an audio test stream this morning right before going live, and it was working there. So. I'm hoping it's working now. The The interesting thing is that now I'm having an issue where if I'm streaming, I can't get any audio from Google Chrome. So that means I can't monitor the audio. I can't uh, stream music the way I was previously. Uh, so I just have to trust that this is working properly. I don't like, sorry, let's get this camera angle figured out there. I need it to be just a little bit, a little bit down there. Perfect. Chances it stays there, very low, very low. But there it is. All right. We are searching for a game. We are searching for a game. Um, chat if they want to play and then I'll switch over scenes and we'll get we'll get going there. hours now. Holy cow. That's exciting. Let's see. Actually, you know what? While we're, we're just chilling here. So let's, let's jump on over and you guys can see what I'm seeing. Got an elves versus northerners matchup. Uh, current turn is 39. So we are a hot second away from that. I have accelerated to the maximum for unit speed. Now we'll 
Let's see what we can see what we can see here. She's going. From what we can see, it looks like elves have an advantage at this point. They have a couple of level ups. Both of them have stayed pretty well in control of half of the villages. Alright, uh, we're playing against Abhijit, 
They are a 1900-year-old Uh, we got elves. Four. Recently, actually. Um, let's focus on our first turn. So, let's get some this one. One, two, three, four, five. That can be a fighter. So let's do that. We'll be going here with our leader. out here. So you're going there. You're going there. Probably we take the scout out that way. Here. We'll grab that village, that village. Uh, let's go. Let's try and get a second quick. No luck. Uh, that's fine. And we'll grab another fighter to round out our troops. Okay. <sighs> ah! Ah! No, that was dumb. Okay. That was really dumb. Forgot to grab the starter village. map is over here. So we'll run down this side with both of these units. Grab that. We have no gold. That's as far as you can. 
Easy stuff. If we're playing against loyalists, we want to be aggressive. Because we'll want to take advantage of first sight. If we're playing against... Uh, or Drake's, for that matter. If we're against a lawful faction, we want to be aggressive during the first night. If we are not, we are going to want to be a little bit more reactive. I don't know yet. Unclaimed at this point. Alright, it is loyalists. Do we try and shift over? aggressive with on the right side. I think I can move, so move here, then at dusk, I can get down to about here. Not enough gold to recruit because fighters are 14. Am I remembering that right? I am remembering that right. Okay, cool. I think three fighters and an archer should be able to take that first village. That's looking good. a little bit more options. So there's no real reason to move this all from where where she is. We'll have a bunch of gold next turn. Perhaps to better see. We'll do a scout over there. I still think this is the right way. 
makes this a lot more awkward. That's a fair assessment. Now this is interesting because it sort of exposes the meta and the way that skilled players will play. This fence here is probably entirely here to protect this village from an attack like this. Where you sort of tank out the, the fighters, and then the damage dealer, you use your skirmish on the fence here to get behind, trap, and kill. So, if I had to guess, I'd say that's probably what the counter is here. So against a, a, a higher ranked player like this, there's something to be said about doing the unexpected and attacking the left side. It's harder to assault, but if all of the resources are far right, you can't really get over in time. Turn the 
voice up a tad. All right. I'll try that then. We gotta figure out what to do with this combat situation. I think we go for the cavalry, man. I think that's the play. Ha! Lol. I thought that was the play. This is really well defended. Right, because what happens is maybe I attack the cavalrymen. Right, let's say let's say we do that. Seven by four. Maybe we do On the on the high end we do twenty one damage, right? Still has fourteen hit points. We would need to hit every single time with the sword. So we can't kill there. And then we're exposed and he can retreat. So that's not going to work. I guess let's focus this Spearman. Try and do enough damage to scare him off. And work on protecting otherwise. Go to planning mode for this one. Something like that. I mean, it's a skirmisher, so we're not going to block over there. So maybe this is actually correct here. Prevents the horsemen from circling around. As well as the spearmen. This exposes that. Uh, probably switch that here then. Keep the strong one out front. And drop to here. Yeah, let's try that. Prevent some circling. We might have to extricate our archer in a bit. Let's drop down here. And with everybody over here, we might as well take this opportunity to threaten something over here. The question is going to be, where do we put our, our scout? Let me put the scout here, because I think it's more likely the spearman attacks the scout in retaliation. And so we want the better defense over there. Set that up for next turn. Fifteen gold. Just 
trying to decide if I think a Merfolk is worth it. Probably not. I think we just go Fighter on the right. So that when this, when the pendulum swings back around, we have some more units over here. sounds back Expect to be streaming for um, somewhere between two and three hours. Just th this game will be the only game I play, but who knows how long that's going to take. This is a bit loud again. Pop that down. I think OBS had an update, and my audio levels got all blown out of whack. Much better? Okay. I will also say, West Nuff music is not terribly well balanced in terms of the highs and lows. A voice louder again? What do you mean by that? My voice is too loud or it needs to be louder? Needs to be louder. I can't go much louder, I'm gonna be honest. That's sort of about as far as I can push it. All right, we lost the archer. Perfect, all right, we'll take perfect. Perfect seems pretty good. Ho oh, ho, and we are well and surrounded on the right. Okay, so that was absolutely a failed attack. I don't think we can recruit anything over there. Awesome, that is always the goal. That is always the goal. I think I tried to make something happen where it, where it was just impossible to make something happen. Right side is slightly more favorable, but not really. It's time for us to get out of the situation. Uh, get a couple of woes. I didn't realize we still had attacks. Strong. 
think sticking around right side is a bad idea at this point. We tried... We tried to push, it didn't work. Now we retreat. Um... I don't know where I need to be. I want to recruit a woes. I don't know if gold fed. I'll have to wait a turn. I can actually hit you. Sure. That's fine. Yeah. Not a good start. Not a good start. We're down two units? Yeah. So and we'll see if we manage to cut our losses appropriately or whether that's or whether that's just gonna spiral out of control. There might be an opportunity there. I'll tell you what it looks like. It looks like that, this, that. If he stays there, this, this. Move to there. Oh, he, he managed to trap me. Okay. And is out of range of everybody. One thing we could try, it's a little desperate, is... That was supposed to be in planning mode.
What's the retaliation to that? Because I think that that probably kills him. No, it doesn't. No, no, no. If we get really extremely lucky, that kills him. And now we've sort of fucked our, our shaman here. Now I can cut over. I can cut over in a couple of directions. But is there a way that I can cut over? Without costing me more units. Because, right, I can probably, between the three of these, deal enough damage to kill the fencer, and maybe, or maybe, the spearman here. Not Definitely not both, but one or the other, I think, would happen. Planning mode. Maybe we, maybe both happens if we get really lucky and do something like this. I don't think both, though. I don't think both. Because I think this fighter is the deciding factor on both of those attacks. I've really, really screwed myself with this shaman. Hey, befuddled magician, how's it going? Happy Saturday. We are playing against someone who is much better than us. And my camera keeps drifting up. And we misclicked. So our shaman is stuck here now. weekend. I feel like taking a break. I wish it felt like one, taking a break from homework. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds right. That sounds correct. At dawn against loyalists, too. I'm gonna get absolutely reamed if I make I'm so close to making a very bad decision. I'm so close to just like run in there, bow, see where we're at. Bow, 
Maybe finish here. Slow. Bow. Come over. Body block. But like, does that work? I don't think it does, right? Like something I'm missing. Oh yeah, like well, but no, but he's gonna heal. And then I think our shaman just dies. So does, so does the scout. And. I think the archer stays alive. But we're sacrificing two for one and we're already down two. That being said, we're gonna be down one anyway because I can't save The, the shaman after that misclick. Uh, alternatively, shaman, fighter, fighter, bow, body block, Bow support. But now the fencer's alive, and with Skirmisher, he can get anywhere. Which kills a lot more people, I think. Our Shaman is probably fine. Well, okay, no matter what happens, we're going to make this attack. I could go sword instead. Do a lot more damage. But then this fighter definitely dies. Let's do bow. Let's actually execute that. That gives us a sense of where we're starting. So now if we want to kill him, we have to attack with more than one unit. Uh, I think no matter what, this fighter is coming over here to support. Let's leave planning mode here. I don't think coming down here makes sense. So if we do nothing, how far back can we move? Uh, we can get to we can get to good terrain, or we can move back, and we can't do both. Let's say we go good terrain. That's still three units that can attack the shaman. I don't think bringing the fighter down is the right response to try and protect the shaman. So this is my, what if we play defensive? What does defensive look like? I 
I think defensive looks like this. We definitely lose the fighter, but maybe we don't lose the shaman. They're gonna push up on the left side. need a woes, but which side to put the woes on? I think we go right side with, for, for the woes. Whole lot of doing nothing. But I think it ends up with more people alive. All right, let's try it. A cautious play. There comes the push on the on the left side. I think we just have to live with the fact that we're going to lose that village. Okay, Shaman's dead, despite being on a 70% defensive tile. Was hit 50% of the time. Our fighter is still alive, which is exciting. expect him to stay alive per se but he's currently alive now we might actually have a chance of dealing with that annoying fencer because our leader is within striking range Especially if he goes deep like that.
Let's see if we can figure this out. I break my line to go do that, though. And I can't recruit this turn. Twice drops to six, drops to seven. Wait, hang on. How does math work? Hit twice, does 16 damage, drops to seven. Just need to hit once. We sacrifice a recruit to do that, though. That we're just kind of just kind of chilling here. I could push down. I could just say, "Yeah, fuck you guys," and move down. We're gonna try it. We're gonna see what happens. Alright, just hit twice. You can do it. 40%, I believe. No luck. No dice. If I break my line, how bad is that? Not actually terrible. Quick and intelligent, dexterous and intelligent. Guard of Terra, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome to the Cannoneers. You can't move very far. Um, dexterous and quick. No, I want the intelligent one to get to kill. Okay, let's do this. I think I like this. Oh, ho, ho, come on! Rip! Okay. No dice.
and that horseman's going to cause problems. Okay. We kind of actually need zone of control here, so I don't think I'm going to push down, despite wanting to. I think it's better that I just take this back. Keep that village. Okay, moving on. I'm ready for death. There's nowhere that the fencer can go that the scout can't chase him, which is nice. But everything else about this is not great. Taking a lot of damage. And he's being very careful with his experience. He's gonna get a level up pretty quick. That other spearman can get up there and kill the, the fighter. Fencer runs and takes the other house, and our force is essentially routed. Fence are gonna do it. Okay, so that leaves the spearmen to take on the scout. Which is a better use of the piercing attacks that the spearman has. heavy inroads during first morning. We really fumbled that first assault at dusk or first watch. I mean, I had red flags going off in my head, but I didn't do anything about it. I just made an attack anyway. And I shouldn't have. I should have pulled back and regrouped and waited for an opening. Okay. So what damage can we do? Like, we still try this. We want to kill that fencer. Good. We've got a woes. This is the only attack we can make, so let's make it. Missed. But we can come in from the side.
93 versus 97. I'm going to take the 93 so I don't take as much damage back. Oh, and I'm still a turn away from my keep. Uh, that's really awkward. I can't push out because then we get surrounded and killed. And that's the end of the game. fall back to a place where if on the off chance it makes sense to come out we still have the uh, mobility to do so next turn but on the more realistic chance that it doesn't we have the mobility to get back to our keep and recruit as far as what's going on down here I mean I've got a spare fighter I can just bring up to assist. Assist there. Try and come over and assist on the left. Or push down and try and take a village. Those are the three options we have with this fighter. Can't see what's going on in the fog. I have to assume there are recruits coming. So there's probably a couple of units down here that would prevent me from pushing. So let's back. Let's back up. Uh, and we will take an attack because we can. Miss every single one, as is only our right. And the turn. Couldn't see that that horseman was there. Cool. So that archer is more dead than I thought. Someone should really tell them that, like, they're supposed to be dead, but they were also supposed to have hit their shots last turn. There's the level up. And one of the very few possibilities for leaving my ranger out would be to mark damage on level two. I think that's gonna work. I think we have to ignore the cav. And instead. See what we can do against these spearmen, and we have to get back and recruit.
There's no better terrain to retreat to for the woes. The annoying thing is we still have to hit twice there. And we can't even hit once. Uh, good. There we go. Come out, I think we die. I don't know that we live by staying here anyway. Very cool to see some PvP action. Yeah, glad to be bringing it to you every Saturday. And sometimes during the week. Okay, let's figure this out. I, uh, 54 gold, huh? Okay, we're in planning mode. That could be two woeses and a fighter. That would be 54. I think it's also two archers and a woes. Or... What happens if we go hard on fighters? How far do we get there? 26. 26 is bad. 26 we can't do anything with. Sure. Like, I'm pretty sure we've lost, but we'll 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 finish her out. That archer. Somehow still alive. Somehow still alive. Definitely not going to last through the turn, though. Pretty, pretty sure about that. Yeah, there she goes. We're bleeding money at this point. I haven't seen, oh, I was about to say I haven't seen reinforcements show up yet, but here they are. Uh, it looks like this might be a shorter stream than normal. Who needs three hours for a game when you just lose immediately? Why are some of the units marked with ladder? So um, I'm playing on the uh, ladder era, which is a modified default era uh, to be more balanced for multiplayer. So that's why some units are marked with ladder. That means that they are, have been changed from the default era.
Yeah, no problem. If you want to learn more about ladder, uh, let's see if this works. There's a there's a website for it. Uh, it's how. So that's it has a ranking system. So I am I am attempting to uh, level up in the ranking system. We take the gold back. Let's do that. So one way out of this is to kill the Dragoon and level up the fighter. But we can't do enough damage to do that. Do a significant amount of damage to that. We have no gold, so we can't recruit. Uh, it is the easiest one to hit. Well, let's try and hit it. Yeah, there we go. I don't think we need to be in planning mode for this. To be honest. We're going to just try and defend what we still have. Which is to say, not a lot. Next turn, we might have enough gold to recruit if we don't lose another village. Well, let's make sure we don't lose another village then. We lost another village. Not sure what the goal was there, but uh, okay. <laughs> All right. There it is. units are injured. They're really injured, but I can't take advantage of it. Maybe I can do something against the Dragoon with these three.
right? Like something like that. I'll have 13, I'll have less than 13 gold because that cavalry man's gonna take that village, I'm sure of it. Yeah, so I have 10 gold, can't recruit. Make it a little ambiguous where we are. And maybe we just concentrate on trying to do something down here. Or stop the bleeding. All right, this is not going to go well. Let that be expressed immediately. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. Like, we're still dead. We're still very much dead. But, that went the way we wanted it to. Uh, the problem is that it is about to become day. And then this mage, with their fire missiles, are going to burn down our trees. And then we will lose. Because we have no money and no people. The bigger problem with woes is that they move so slowly that it's going to be very, very difficult to try and get another kill for this fighter. Because they can just run away. And I won't be able to really trap them. But on the flip side, this is sort of exactly where woes are good, which is defending. They are big, meaty bodies. They regenerate. They have reasonable resistances to non-magical attacks. Yeah, so the fact that we've got four spearmen over here, which all only have piercing damage, and we have 60% defense against pierce. That's pretty good. Uh, but we're hemorrhaging gold, and they're, exactly, they're going to escape in such a fashion that we can't punish them for it. And they are going to control my keep, so I can't recruit... Yep, and they're going to be right there, so they can come back and deal with me.
I don't know here. Like the only the only play is to support this group. Let's see what happens. Yep, so that is starting a line to prevent me from getting back to my keep, so I can't recruit. Solidifying the villages. I'm not sure if you come after me this turn or if you wait a turn, but you have to come after me soon. You don't have to do anything. Like you can just sit here for turns and turns and turns starving me out. That's an option. But as it turns to day, my woes get better. Certainly not at the same pace that their units do. Wait for ages, make a few mages and win. Yeah, that's probably what they do. I mean, they already have a few mages. So you probably wait until uh, morning. Two mages doing, what, 15? 12 damage? 12 damage. 12 by 3 each on the woes. I think that was a mistake because I think now I can both level up my fighter and kill a mage. So I think I think our opponent just made a mistake. I don't think it matters, but I think they just made a mistake. So I kill I kill that one. And I get a level up here. Probably normally I would go captain for the leadership.
Maybe I do want leadership here. No, let's just go with the hero. Ah, that's actually a harder decision than I expected it to be. Let's go with the hero. Now the trick is how do we keep my leader alive? Actually, be this. Mm, nope, it's not. It's this. Twenty-two nine. Spam cavalry strat also works. Yeah, definitely does. I mean, there. To be clear, I have like a less than one percent chance of getting out of this. Um, it's gone up now that I leveled up my fighter. But uh, our opponent wasn't paying attention and didn't realize that I had a woes on that forest, and that caused them to not be able to kill my fighter, which cost them a lot. But this is where mages are really brutal. So that woes is dead. Yep. Um, our leaders opened up. Now, why am I leaving the woes on the left village here and not moving him off? Any chance I have to actually win this game involves me eventually being able to recruit again. And to do that, I need to have gold. So even though it means that my chances of survival go down, I think it makes my chances of winning in the long term go up, even though, again, we're still talking about less than 1%. And now we do the shuffle. How do we do the shuffle? We do it like this. Okay. Surprising no one, I lost that game. Uh. Let's 
just give them a chance to say anything if they would like to. Uh, but in the meantime, I think that's going to do it for me, to be honest. Not a great, not a great game. Um, but if I had to say I learned anything, it was not to be overly aggressive in situations where it's not going to work. Uh, there were clearly red flags. I didn't have, um, I didn't have an opening in my first attack that I took, and so I got punished for it. Uh, there was no chance to kill any of their units, and he was able to surround me and cut off my units from retreat and kill several of them. And that set the stage for a game like this, where I lose quickly. Um, still made it to turn 15, but did we really? No, we were dead long before then. I just am stubborn and want to see how these things end. So, that was fun. We'll be back again next week with more West North stuff. Uh, if you want to talk strategy... First of all, you should be in the official ladder Discord, uh, which you can find a link to on the gaming ladder link that I put in chat earlier, but I will drop it again. Secondly, if you want to talk strategy with this community, the folks here watching this stream, join, uh, join the Discord. We've got a channel dedicated to talking about Battle for West North stuff and the games that we have played. So join the discussion there. It's a good time. Good folks all around. I will be streaming again on Tuesday. Tuesday evening my time. So that'll be evening in North America. Whatever that means for wherever you are. It will not be Battle for West North. I will be playing some Factorio. Uh, trying to launch a rocket and get off of this godforsaken planet. The next West North stream will likely be on Saturday of next week, where we will be doing the same thing that we were doing today, trying to grab a ladder game with anyone from the community and looking to level up our skills a little bit, apply some lessons learned from previous games and keep getting better. So if you would like to be notified the next time I go live, hit the follow button. That is the best way for you to get a notification. Uh, on on Twitch is if you uh, if you drop a follow. Um, the better way to get a notification is to join the Discord because I will ping there and that's easier than having Twitch open, I think. If you like what you see, I encourage you to stick around for a couple of moments after I end the stream because I'll be running some ads and the ads help me to uh, do what I'm doing here, which is awesome. Uh, if you want to support more than just watching ads, there's always the subscribe button down below, uh, which is free if you have a Amazon Prime account linked to your Twitch account. So that's a cool way to support your local streamer if you uh, so choose. Let's see. Uh, usually I try to raid someone before I take off if there is someone out there doing something. It looks like we have a West North streamer streaming in English, even. So I will probably be sending you off to Uberleben, uh, who is doing a campaign. I think it's not a mainline campaign. I think he's working his way through. Um, let's see, what is he working his way through? Invasion from the Unknown. So I'm pretty sure that that is a... Uh, what are they called? Add-on campaign. So you can go join and watch what he's doing after after I run some ads on the way out. I think that's all the, the closing stuff that I was supposed to do. So thank you all for, for hanging out with me. Uh, and I will see you all next time. Take care.